Hello, everybody. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you. Today, we are expecting a strong to severe thunderstorm chance. Let's time out and track where they're going to be most likely in this version of Hutch's weather. My friends at Robert Gibbons Sons want to let you know that you can get a free a water heater if you upgrade your heating and cooling system to a brand new Bryant unit today. Bryant, whatever it takes. Robert Gibbons Sons, 110 years plus of service to our communities. Give them a call, please. Let them know that Hutch sent you. Let's get to that latest on your hour-by-hour -hour forecast as we go through the uh, day today. Scattered showers and storms will develop along the international border, not expected to be severe as we go through mid-morning, so there'll be a chance of some showers there. South winds from the southeast and from the southwest across the region will increase the moisture and heat across the area once again, and then heading into the late afternoon hours, we'll see some thunderstorms developing in western and central Dakotas. Not everywhere will see severe weather and they will track off to the east. So the best chance of severe storms as we go through the day will be in our western North Dakota counties and into parts of northern uh, valley and the Devil's Lake Basin. And if you happen to be in southern parts of Manitoba, those storms will be spreading your way as we go through the late evening hours. All modes of severe weather are possible. That means the greatest risk is going to be for large hail and damaging straight line winds as these storms move through, but we could have an isolated tornado as well. For this morning. Temperatures will be very mild and in fact a little on the muggy side. 65 to 70 degrees across the region. Light wind. Uh, spotty shower along the international border. Not out of the question. Thunderstorms forming west. will move to the north and east as we go through. Temperatures near 90 once again for the Fargo area, for Grand Forks, for Valley City, Jamestown, Devil's Lake. All the same. Lakes country just a pinch cooler. 80 to 86 degrees for most of you. Seven-day planner looks like this as we go through. Temperatures once again on your 4th of July look sizzling hot. That risk of severe weather increases for us here in the Valley and Minnesota in particular. As we go through your 4th of July celebrations, make sure you stay weather aware. If a storm forms in your area, have an action plan. Know where you can go to stay safe, particularly if you happen to be out and about camping. Staying informed is critical. Temperatures a little more comfortable through the remainder of the weekend. Still some storms in Minnesota and points toward the eastern part of the state. And heading into the work week, we start a warming trend that could bring an isolated storm or two back into your forecast. That's a look at the latest. I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson reminding you to follow me here on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube for weather updates, keeping you ahead of the storm.